Alright, what's up everybody? This is Aztec101 in the ring. And pretty much, you know, I want to talk about Floyd Mayweather, his attempts to hold on to Cinco de Mayo. You know, he's really made up his mind that May 2nd, that's the day he wants to fight Pacquiao. That's the only day he's going to fight Pacquiao. Now, Saul Canelo Alvarez, he's made it clear for the past year, I think over a year, that he wants to take Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day back. He feels that, uh, you know, we should have a, a Mexican fighter uh, headline an event on that night. And, you know, on that standpoint, I agree. I definitely agree. I agree. And, you know, I, I don't think anybody here is saying that only Mexicans can fight on Mexican holidays. That's not what people are saying. No, no, no. The problem is, is that Floyd, for the past five years, with the exception of Hatton, has only, only fought on Mexican holidays since Oscar De Loya. He's only fought on those days. That's it. That is weird. There's not one Mexican fighter on the planet in the history of boxing that only fought on Mexican holidays. So my question is to the YTBC is if a Mexican fighter won't fight specifically on Mexican holidays, why the fuck is Floyd doing it? That doesn't make sense to me. It's always been odd. I mean, no matter how you cut it, there's different layers to this, and I'll break it down to you. There's different layers to this. I mean, take take the fact that take the fact away that, you know, He's not Mexican and he's fighting on a Mexican holiday. Take that away. And just look at the fact that he's American and he's not fighting on an American holiday. You know, boxing needs another golden era. During Thanksgiving, people are watching football. Sports fans are watching football. They should be watching boxing. Floyd Mayweather is an American boxer. He's the number one fighter in the world. He's the most popular, the richest. Why isn't he taking advantage of the American fan base? Why is that there's there's laziness here. Like there's no attempt to hustle and try to gain new fans. It's all a bunch of bullshit. You know, I, I feel like Floyd Mayweather has gotten lazy. You you look, check this out. You you can make fans. People don't just have to show up to watch you lose. You understand that? You're an American fighter. Take advantage of it. Fight on Fourth of July, Thanksgiving. I don't. I, I don't know. There's plenty of holidays. Veterans Day, Memorial Day weekend. There's plenty of holidays that you can take advantage of, and use the American market to make more money than you're making now. Because that's the problem. As 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 big as Floyd is, he can be bigger. Because boxing isn't as big as it should be. The American fan base can 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 bring in more money than pay per views coming from China, coming from uh, the UK, coming from Mexico, coming from anywhere around the world. the The best way to make money is domestic, and that would be from America. And I just don't understand why he's not taking advantage of it you know, consistently just every year, fighting on Mexican holidays. And then Bob Aaron brings it up, and, and people think that we haven't caught on. Like, we look, people aren't stupid. They've noticed this before. And you don't have to be Mexican to notice it. You don't have to be Mexican to notice how weird it is that Floyd is only fighting on Mexican holidays. And I I have to make that clear. Only fights on Mexican holidays. An opportunity for, you know, a young Mexican fighter to represent his country and his people. Uh, He uses it as a day to to, uh, market his fights. And here's the thing. There's no one asking him to do this. He's taking it upon himself to do this. No one no no one's sitting there going look Floyd uh May 2nd Cinco de Mayo that you know that's really important to us as your fans. Uh you have to have the fight on that day. I mean it has to happen on that day. 
Look, even his biggest hardcore fans, I guarantee you, be honest, you don't give a shit. You really don't give a fuck. You don't care whether the fight is on May 2nd or it isn't. You just want to see the fight, right? So, that's that's where I'm wondering, like, what is his reason? You know, Canelo has a reason. Canelo's Mexican. He, he, there's the, there's the um, for those of you who don't know, you know, Cinco de Mayo, even though it's, it's, it, it's celebrated a little bit different in Mexico because it's more specific to Puebla. Look it up. I'm not here to give you a history lesson, but uh, it's transformed into something else in, in as far as for Mexican Americans. It's it's become a day to celebrate your culture. So your traditional food, music, drink, uh, history, things like that are supposed to be uh, uh, celebrated. On Cinco de Mayo, I know that for a lot of Americans, it's an opportunity for you to get fucked up on tequila, eat tacos, and wear a sombrero, and and act a fool. But there's something else that 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 means to a lot of us who are proud. And like I said, you know, like here's the thing: if you don't, if you're not proud of who you are, I don't expect you to understand where I'm coming from. If 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 you don't have that kind of pride, I pretty much expect all of this to go right over your head. And, and but other people, those those of you who understand, you know what it's like to have that kind of pride over who you are, your culture, your history, things like that, your people. I think that at least on that level, you would understand what Canelo is trying to do, and how this is this is a little bit different. I I don't think I've ever seen in boxing. I don't know in any history book where you can point out a boxer that has held down someone else's culture's dates, the, the, their, their holidays as their fight dates for no reason. This, this has never happened in the history of boxing. Floyd has taken it upon himself to do this. And people, they either they don't care and they go, well, I, don't, I really don't give a shit. <coughs> uh, it doesn't matter to me. Or there's people that uh, well, they find it as if it's an attack to Floyd, so they have to defend him. You know, oh, Floyd's been fighting there for years. Why isn't anybody saying this? Like, I guarantee, look, I'm telling you, for years, people have been talking about this. For years, they've been saying, you know, what the fuck is going on? Floyd Mayweather, he can fight on any other day, but for some reason, that's an excuse. That's always an excuse. It has to be on May 2nd. It has to be on September 13th. If it's not a big fuck you to Mexican fans, please tell me, what is it? Because what you're doing is taking away an opportunity from other Mexican fighters to fight on that day. There's no Mexican fighter that has ever held down that day of his own, for his own. Not, no one. So, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. You know, you as a boxing fan, whoever I'm talking to, I guarantee you don't give a shit. So, Floyd... Look, here's the thing, five years, too long. Too long, homie, you, you've overstayed your welcome. Got to get the fuck out. And, and, and as far as Mexican fans, you know, can't let that happen, man. We can't let that happen. We can't let things like this happen. You guys got to speak up. You have to speak up. You have to. There's more meaning. You Maybe you don't understand the significance, but if... Floyd can do it. Someone else will do it. It's not just about Floyd. Someone else will do it. And until we get until we get tired of it, then 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 people will learn to respect what the fuck our days mean and why you should tread carefully when you're around those holidays. I mean just it's that simple. But when people have no respect for you, you know, that's it. The, the, the next person's going to learn from the person before them on how to treat you. And we just need to get a hold of, uh, of uh, boxing fans again and get them to respect, you know, as far as the Mexican fan base and what we bring to the culture. Now... You know, uh, I mean, how, how far... How far will Canelo go? I mean, I think that he should stick to his guns. I mean, in the end, Cotto's got to sign. If he doesn't, 
if he for any reason decides that he's not going to sign because he's going to go and want to fight on another date, um, then shit. Canelo's going to have no firepower. He's not going to be able to compete with Pacquiao and Floyd, and that's it. It'll be over. May 2nd will be Floyd's. And I just feel like, you know, why why do we have to have this battle? Why do we have to have this battle? It should be something positive. Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao should be something positive. There's no reason for Floyd to hold on to that day. So, you know, if if he's flexing, then to his fans, all I can say is don't get upset. Don't wonder why Mexicans don't like <laughs> Floyd. Don't sit there and complain and be like, oh, well, Mexicans only show up to watch him lose. Of course, you wonder why? Look at the shit that he's doing now. Look at what he's doing. It's just some of the most, you know, arrogant, ignorant, and arrogant things that are happening. You know, things that he says. Oh, well, if if it's for the Mexican fans, then why doesn't Canelo go fight in Mexico? What does that have to do with the dates? That doesn't, even if he does go and fight in Mexico again, which he used to do consistently, he used to fight, you know, not just in Mexico, but on Mexican networks, Spanish networks. But when you, even if he did fight in Mexico, what does that have to do with the dates? Why are you fucking holding on to Mexican holidays, Floyd? You're not Mexican. What, what, what is it other than a fuck you to Mexican fans? So this is Aztec 101 in the ring. If you disagree with me, make a video. Respond to it. Leave a comment. I don't know. Let me know. But um, I, I guarantee you that if you have any pride of in any shape, way, or form, whether it's pride of, uh, of your culture or pride of being a part of a group or organization, you know, whatever it is, it, there's a sense of pride, whether you're part of a football team, uh, something, you, you, you got to understand what the fuck I'm talking about. At least that sense has got to click and you got to be able to say like, oh shit, okay, Floyd, maybe need, maybe he needs to step back and... Realize that he can make the same amount of money. There's nothing holding him down to that date. Just pick another date. Keep him moving. Fight Pacquiao. Fuck him up. And become TBE. And that's it. Walk away. Walk walk away in the sunset. And, 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 and you're good to go. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is Aztec 101 in the ring. And I'm out.